Okay, we made it to Paracas, man. About four hours from Lima, and you can tell that it's like a whole beach town vibe. And like, we're, I think we're in the downtown area. It's so cool, man. Super excited. They have tons of awesome stuff. Uh, I think we're going to the nature, nature reserve today. So we'll be documenting that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat some amazing food, seafood, because I love it. So oh, let's get into it. Okay, so now we are in Paracas in the National Reserve, Nature, Nature Reserve, and it's like one of the most driest deserts in the world. It's so crazy that it's actually right on the ocean and also has the mountains behind it. So I guess that keeps it from ever raining here, which is insane. There's also flamingos, uh, you can have seen. What else is there? Fox. Is there? I didn't see a fox. Oh, okay. Well, I missed that. What? Uh, a lizard. Oh my, but it's beautiful. There's like five different colors of sand that you can see all around and it's so impressive. Like, I can't believe like it's on the ocean and it's a desert. Like, it just doesn't even make sense. But Paracas is freaking beautiful so far, so. Paracas actually gets its name from uh, rain, rain sand. So that's a pretty interesting fact for you guys. And this behind us used to be called, well, it's still called the cathedral, but it used to have an arch that broke from an earthquake in 2007. So, man, you guys gotta, you definitely gotta be part of uh, this Peru hop tour because you get so much useful information, stuff that you probably would not have even known without someone telling you. So, highly would recommend stopping here in Paracas. You guys are coming to Peru. You have to do Peru hop, man. This bus service is like all inclusive tour guides around like multiple cities. For, it's a pretty good price too, so I highly recommend because the guides are so informative and nice and help you through everything. So, and it's really comfortable. So, go with Peru hop. Right behind us is the only red sand beach in all of Peru. Actually, that, not that many in the world, so uh, it's super red because that cliff over there has a bunch of magma in it. So, super interesting, man. Can't go down there, but you can admire it from up here. made it to our hostel in Paracas. It's actually super dope. Like has this whole open section. With the cactuses. I mean, it's a nice little hostel, yo, super cheap, but it is really nice. Yeah, so I think we paid 100 solas, which is like 25 bucks. Really great deal, so gotta check it out while you're here. Okay, 
So, we did it. We did a crazy thing. We're going freaking paragliding right now. Actually, in the Nature Park Reserve. It's gonna be freaking insane. It's so windy here. Hopefully, you guys can hear me clearly. But, uh, yeah, we're about to be a couple hundred feet in the air. It's gonna be a good time. finish our paragliding and oh, my hair is all crazy man what'd you think <laughs> it was beautiful the view was great um recommend it if you're ever in peru if you're ever here do it why not right it wasn't scary at all it wasn't you go very slow you do yeah. get a little nauseous and a little like dizzy um but it's not too bad yeah it was super peaceful once you're up in the air man it's super slow unless he rides the wind and goes fast i think like we were doing a little bit of tricks at the end yeah so we got a little bit uh, intense there but it was amazing. Plus, you got these sick views of all the like desert, mountain, and beach behind us. Like, oh my god, it's incredible. Ten out of ten experience, in Baracas. You gotta come here, man. Beautiful day in Paracas. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do uh, Balestas Island, which is basically like a nature reserve for animals, like kind of like Galapagos Island. We weren't able to do it because uh, the waves to get there are way too strong this time of year. So they give it advisory warnings saying like, you know, it's too dangerous to go. So fortunately we got that, we weren't able to do it. But next time, if you ever have to do this, kind of pick the season if you really want to see it, you know? So in September, it's a little bit rocky, the waves, so you know, I'm not sure if you'll be able to, but you know, we took the chance. Hey, last day in Paracas, what do you think? It's really great. I love it here. The breeze is nice. The beach looks nice. The food is amazing. Yeah, it's such a chill town. Like you could probably walk the whole thing in like 10 minutes. So super tiny and surprisingly really clean. Like I don't see trash anywhere. It's, even with all the dogs around and stuff, it's like it's just clean, you know. And everyone's super nice and friendly. It's awesome. I think that's everybody in Peru. So yeah, looks like we're headed to the next city. Walk at China, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> 